Methodology back with part two of my custom Assassin's Creed costume for the movie that comes out December 21st. In the last video, we went over the jacket and the gloves here. Uh, up next, we were going over the modern pistol holster, which will also end up. measure down the sash just down to your knee uh, if you're not using the holster but if you are you'll want to take put it right around your belly and then wrap it around now based on you know your size that will depict how many times you have to wrap it around but this I am probably only going to have to do once and then you're going to take and tie it over here. Now, it's up to you what you want to do with the knot over here. You can leave it over here, or you can turn the sash and put it towards the back. But again, like I said, it's up to you however you would like to do it. We'll pull down part of the sash here. Goodbye. No. You'll pull down part of the sash down towards here, and part of it up towards here. And as you can see, you can kind of see the seam here and the pattern is a little bit off. That doesn't really matter um, because of the way that it will be set up. So next, you're going to want to take your holster. And if you don't want to use this leather belt or a leather belt like it, that's fine. If you get a pirate costume that comes with a sash, chances are it's going to also come with another belt. You can use that one if you want. I have the other belt over on my couch, but uh, I kind of wanted to use the leather belt for this just because I think that it looks a lot better, especially for a modern day. Now, as you can see, again, I'm wearing my Navy NJ ROTC pants. Normally, I wouldn't be wearing them. Obviously, I told you guys that I won't be wearing them when I actually go into the movie. So anyways, you're going to want to tighten this belt up and around your leg. Right above the kneecap normally is where I would say to have it. And then take this part, wrap it around. If you have your holster set up like mine, obviously it's not that hard to do. Uh, I got this holster at Walmart. It was about ten ninety seven. Came with a toy gun, but the toy gun broke. So I said, why not? I'll turn this into a holster that I can use for much of my role play and uh, costumes. So once you've got that figured out, your costume is starting to look fairly similar to an assassin's outfit. Of course, however, you're missing your hidden blade and embrace. So I have here my two. Hidden Blade Van Braces. This is my Ezio one that I did, but the Hidden Blade broke. It finally just said, nope, I quit, and I haven't been able to find a way to put it back together. This is my Jacob Fry Assassin's Creed Syndicate Gauntlet uh, with Hidden Blade. The little piece here that had the Assassin's Creed symbol broke off, so hopefully it still works. The Hidden Blade works. I think that still looks fairly nice. Um... I'm working on getting the 